Hi, this is Eddie Shore, and today we are going to discuss the derivation of the Pythagorean Theorem. As you know, the Pythagorean Theorem covers a right triangle. Here you can see a right triangle with sides A and B, and the angle between sides A and B is 90 degrees, and the line formed here is side C, normally called I hypotenuse. And the Pythagorean theorem states that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. We know about the Pythagorean theorem, but how was it derived? We are going to look at a geometric method. First of all, we're going to start with four right triangles and we're going to connect the triangles as such to form two squares. The outer square in red consists of the bases of the triangles. One side of the square would be base A from one of the triangles and base B from the other triangle connected together. As you are connecting and attaching the triangles, there is another square that is formed, which you see in blue, and that square is consisting of four hypotenuse from the triangles. And on the blue square, the length is C. So you will have two squares, the red square of length A plus B, and the blue square, the length C of one side. We can find the area of the large square in two ways. First, the, the conventional method. We just take the fact that the area can be calculated as the quantity A plus B squared. Or we can use four triangles and the smaller square, which turns out to be C squared plus four times one half times A times B. Since they are both equal, we'll do some simplification. Note in line four that the term 2AB is common. We can subtract 2AB from both sides and we end up with the goal a plus b squared is equal to c squared. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.